So for gearbox oil, as usual, we've got the top and the bottom filler. It's always advisable to try the top one first. And then the lower one. There we go. Shouldn't be much left in because we have had this open. And then we'll fill it from the bottom until we get oil coming at the top. Put the top plug in to get a partial vacuum. And then we can put the bottom plug in once we remove the, uh, the oil filler. And then it should be back full of oil. Hopefully we've got no leaks. And all the seals are good. I'm not going to pressure test it. Um, just the edge of the engine. It's not, it's not particularly worth it. But if we do get major leaks, probably from the from the front seal there, I would, but it's not not the end of the world. It's not a big job, two bolts to take it off. So we'll fill that up now. So I've got the gear, the gear all here, and we're just going to screw it into the lower unit there using the adapter. Hopefully it fits. Sometimes if they don't, just it's such small ones like this, it's easier just to to hold them. In fact, I don't think it needs the adapter. Nope, doesn't need the adapter. It's been imperial thread, I think, for that one. And then we'll just pump some oil in. Until we can see it coming out the top. It's not a big gearbox. But because we've had it open, you know that there's nothing in there. And the method for filling, like I'm doing here, like I do for every outboard, is probably, well, I think it's the only way of doing it correctly. Now you can hear it coming out. We just get the small one for the top there. I did check, it's got an O-ring on it. Sometimes they get stuck. We just stick that one in there, and then for the bottom one, we just quickly remove this. And because we've got the top one in, the oil's quite cold and viscous. It's not gonna come rushing out, and we can just screw the lower one back in. We didn't, I don't think we lost anything there. And then just nip them up, so they don't have to be crazy tight. And that's it. I'll just give it a quick clean. If you have suspected of a leak or something, you, you can just leave them just for a while. Just once you've cleaned them, and just see if there any is any leaks. Because well, you're not going to see any from the top. It's only from the, the oil level down. So you may see the main seal and the uh, drive shaft seal. Sorry, the prop shaft seal. So we'll give it a test run now. So there we go. I've just fired it up there. New impeller. Squirting water really well there. As you can see, it's in neutral. And that's drive. Back into neutral. So we'll see, we'll fix the gearbox issue as well. Not seeing massive amounts of oil on there. So I'm confident there's no oil leak on the, on the seals. I'll see that down the top. And it's running quite nicely. 